G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna go over my connectivity issues with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro and also I'm gonna be talking about the chipping and how I think it's gonna get better. All right, first off, let's talk about connectivity. So since I've had the MLM2 Pro, I have struggled with connectivity issues. It's no secret. Anyone who's watched my channel, I've constantly struggled with connectivity issues. However, recently, they have gotten a lot better. And today, I was able to play two rounds of the Auto Putt Tour using my MLM2 Pro and GS Pro and not have a single disconnect. Now, how did I do that? Well, what I found was in my troubleshooting, it seems to be my modem slash router or my home internet that's causing the issue. So what I've been doing recently is hooking up my MLM2 Pro, my phone and my laptop on a hotspot network. So what I've done is on my Pixel 6, I'm basically creating a hotspot and using my 5G internet, connecting my new iPhone, my MLM2 Pro and my laptop to that hotspot. And since I've done that, I haven't had any disconnects, not one. So that in itself speaks volumes. I've played four rounds of golf on GS Pro. I've hit golf balls on the range on GS Pro and I haven't had any disconnects. I am gonna be doing further testing to this. Now, when I use my home Wi-Fi, I still get a lot of disconnects and I think it's got something to do with my modem or router. Again, I'm gonna try and further troubleshoot this. And when I also do the direct connect from my iPad to my Rapsoda MLM2 Pro, I still am getting disconnects. So the only way I've found to not get any disconnects is to create a personal hotspot and then connect everything up to that. I have played two rounds, like I said, of the Auto Putt Tour this morning. Unfortunately, my audio didn't work at all. So um, those two rounds, um, I'm gonna put some, footage of those two rounds up now, but unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to use these videos or these two rounds I played because like I said, the audio for whatever reason didn't work, unfortunately. So those auto putt rounds will have to wait till next week. Okay, let's talk about chipping. So chipping's a big thing. And unfortunately, like I said, I can't show the two auto putt rounds because chipping came up a lot in those two rounds. However, when I was reviewing some of the footage from my chipping test using the impact camera, I noticed that the chipping videos almost got cropped. And what I mean by that, I'll put some images on screen now. So this is the chipping test that I did the other day. And I'll just go to a chip shot, we'll select this one here. So it carried eight yards. Um, and I'm just gonna go to the impact vision. And what you'll notice is, I'll, I'll just play this. The club impacts the ball, and then a few frames later, the video stopped. So to me, it's just not collecting enough data. And I'll show another one. We'll go to this next shot. And again, I'll go to the impact vision. And here we see again, we see impact, and then maybe one or two frames, and then it cuts out. Now. I'll put one more shot up just to show you again. It is doing this for pretty much all of the chip shots. And this includes the bump and run shots I did. So again, this is a chip shot. We have impact and then a couple of frames later, it cuts out. And then I'll go down, I'll try and find, I think these were the bump and run shots. I'll show this. This was with the eight iron. And as you can see, we have impact and then one or two frames later, it stops. Right, let me show what it looks like on a full shot. So this is a full shot. And you can see impact, and then the ball has multiple frames there where the camera's collecting data or information about the spin and the spin axis. So to me, the issue with the chipping potentially could be that that camera is not collecting enough data. I did contact Justin, I contacted Rapsodo about this and he agreed and he said that they were already tracking this and they are working on chipping. So that's really exciting to hear that they know that there's an issue with chipping and it's not as good as it can be and they are working on that. So 
for everyone that said that there was no issues with chipping, it's good to get a bit of validation from Rapsodo themselves saying, yes, they're aware that chipping isn't as good as it can be, and they are actively working on this to make it better. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.